During pregnancy, your midwife will check baby's heart rate at each antenatal appointment. She'll listen to the baby's heart beating by either using a pinard stethoscope or a handheld monitor called a sonic aid. Most women will see this antenatally and community midwives um, use this um, along with asking women about their fetal movements which is uh, just as important as listening to the baby's heartbeat because this just gives us that window uh, of when we're listening in that just tells us uh, what the baby's heartbeat is doing is, is happening at that moment in time and so antenatally it's just as important to um, ask a woman about how her baby's moving and uh, um, women are encouraged to make sure that they're feeling 10 movements in a 12 hour period but during labour uh, we can listen in um, with a handheld sonic aid and this one's fantastic because we can use this one, it's waterproof and we can immerse it in water and listen to the baby's heartbeat uh, when a woman's labouring in our birthing pool. If you choose to have a hospital birth, there will almost certainly be an occasion when the baby's heartbeat will be monitored. It's a continuous way of monitoring a baby's heartbeat if a woman's labour dictates that. And uh, the yellow one, um, we put this um, over onto the woman's abdomen, over the foetal back to listen to the baby's heartbeat. And this, the pink one, is just a very, very simple pressure gauge uh, that sits at the, on the top of the abdomen on the uterus. And um, every time a woman has a contraction, it causes the needle to rise and fall on the paper. And um, it doesn't tell us how strong the contractions are. Um, it just tells us how frequent the contractions are. And uh, the woman herself tells us how strong they are. Kai, yeah. Michelle's first baby, went overdue hey. and because of this she was monitored daily until she had her baby. I went over by 18 days. I refused to let them induce me um, because as far as I could see induction was the quickest route to the caesarean and I really did not want a caesarean. Um, so I stayed at home. I went in every day after I went over that two week threshold. I went in every day and I let them monitor me, which nearly killed me because I nearly had a car accident on the way to the hospital. Um, so yes, I would let them, I would let them strap me up and I had this little weather girl button I'd have to keep a record of the baby's movement. So I did everything they wanted me to, but I didn't let them bully me or push me into doing anything that I didn't want to. I wasn't left on monitors for a long time, I, you know, I was left on a monitor for 20 minutes and then I was actually allowed to just walk around and sway and wiggle and do what I wanted. Sometimes the monitoring will show that the baby's heart rate is too fast or too slow and this may indicate that the baby is in distress. As probably most people are aware, the normal heart rate is somewhere between about 60 and 80. Um, in children it tends to be faster and in babies before they're born, it's faster still. So many people who've gone, for instance, for a nuchal scan, they'll have, shown, they'll have been shown their baby's heart rate and it's often 160 or 170 a minute. And it slows gradually during pregnancy, so that at term, it's somewhere between 110 and 150 normally. So a change in heart rate is often taken as a suspicious sign unless it can be explained for some other physiological reason, like mum has a temperature, or mum herself is becoming a bit dehydrated during labour. Depending on the stage of pregnancy or labour, and the degree to which your baby is distressed, the health professionals involved in your baby's care may recommend induction of labour or caesarean section. If you're past your due date, your midwife or obstetrician may recommend that your baby's heart rate is regularly monitored at the hospital. This will only show that the baby is in good condition at the time of monitoring. <laughs>